here we go. I already unloaded. Number 10, drum roll. Number 10 is a brand new item in the store. It's a snack item. So it's a little bit more of a fun item. That's why I made number 10 because it is a snack item for sure. It's called the Pequot Popcorn. It's seasoned with nutritional yeast, onion, salt, and uh, sea salt and garlic. So this guy, oh, this is where the cheaters come in, guys. I'm gonna have to, ooh, I can see even better. This is great. Um, I'm gonna read some labels for you. I'm gonna do the work for you. So all you have to do is go in and pick them up. All right, four grams of protein, two and a half cups. So yes, it's a snack item, two and a half cups, four grams, did I say four? Yeah, four grams of protein. That's coming from the nutritional yeast. Now, uh, if you actually have the bag of nutritional yeast, you could totally add more, and now you're upping the grams of protein. But um, I just thought this was a cool item. It's tasty, and you can feel somewhat good about eating it because of the little bit of protein in there. Um, so anyways, this is the one snack item it made number 10 list. All right, number nine. Number nine is edamame, yay! All right, most of us love edamame. If you love edamame, um, then it may not be new for you. But here's what I love about this edamame. It's already cooked for us, guys. Look, look at that. It's already cooked and ready to go. The only downside to this, I do wish it was in a resealable bag. You will find this product in the produce section. Um, it's next to actually my number eight product that I'm about to show you. They're next to each other, but um, love edamame. I've thrown them in salads. I have put them just in a bowl, thrown them in the microwave for maybe five or 10 seconds with a little bit of salt on there and just kind of eat them like a little snack. And what a wonderful, yummy little snack. Now, what you can also do is you can freeze them. So I know a lot of customers, they come in the store, we have the shelled edamame and then we have edamame um, in the shell. So we have shelled or not. Um, you know, something that you would find like in a, in a restaurant. Uh, but sometimes we're out of them, guys, and that's okay. You can get these. I freeze these too. Uh, because they're not in a resealable bag, I have to put them in like a Ziploc and then I freeze them. But anyways, um, this guy, nine grams of protein in a half a cup. So nine grams of protein, a half a cup. You can eat them as a snack or throw them in a salad. Super, super yummy. Number nine, love this item. All right, guys, number eight. Number eight, oh my goodness. If you eat lentils, you're gonna want to try these. The days of soaking beans and soaking lentils, uh, I mean, for me, have been long gone. Actually, I think I have a bean confession. Guys, I don't think I've ever soaked beans or lentils in my life. I've seen my grandmother, I've seen, I think maybe my stepmom do it but I don't do that. I do make lentil soup, but I take all the help from Trader Joe's. I get the cooked lentils. Now, this one gets double points, and I'm gonna tell you why. Not only does it have a healthy amount of protein in there, but it's got fiber. So in a half a cup, guys, this has uh, six grams of fiber and 10 grams of protein. 10 grams of protein in a half of a cup. Think about it. If you have a big bowl of lentil soup, you're gonna have at least a cup, I would say, of lentils. So now you've just doubled your protein. So now you've got 20 grams of protein in some broth and vegetables. What a great meal, right? Also, for all my vegan vegetarians, guys, I and I have done this. I, I think I need to do a video on this. I've made lentil burgers before, and boy, were they good. So I just use these. So this one's this one's number eight, but it's still it's one of my faves. Great protein, low sugar, high fiber, and the convenience of it. No more soaking beans, guys. All right, number seven. Number seven is a meat item, right? So we shouldn't be too surprised that there's gonna be a healthy amount of protein in meat. Here's what I love about the chicken sausages at the store. A, the convenience. Again, you see where I'm going with this. I want quick, healthy, easy. Sometimes I'm in the break room, I have a 30 minute lunch, I'll grab a pack of these and I'll eat two or three of them. Sometimes I dip them in mustard. It's the one condiment that does not contain a lot of sugar, if any, actually. Um, this one's the spicy jalapeno uh, flavor. We have about five or six of them. We have an Italian sausage. We have an apple chardonnay, a smoked apple chardonnay. We have a sweet apple. We have an unexpected chart. We have many that you can pick from. This is my favorite. It's not even that spicy. I'm not a big spice girl, but the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage, one of my favorites. You ready for this, guys? This is 11 grams of protein in one link. Zero, zero sugar, 11 grams of protein. So you wanna up the protein? 
have two. Now you're up to 22. You get done with a good workout of lifting weights or whatever, have three, right? Whatever, whatever that goal is for you with your protein. Um, love these, love, love, love. Customers have shared with me, they throw them with a bunch of veggies um, on the stove here in a pan. You can throw them in the microwave, you can air fry them, you can throw them, uh, I've thrown them in my scrambled eggs in the morning, so you can use it as like a breakfast type sausage. Anyways, this one, this is a good one, guys. So uh, this one's number seven for me, love that guy. All right, number six. Number six, one of my friends at the store, he eats this almost every day for lunch, and I'm not kidding, but he's not alone. I was on a kick with this for a while, and I'm gonna get back to this one because I love it. It's the organic grilled chicken breast, okay? There it is, um, and here's what I love about it. First off, let's talk about cooked chicken. Sometimes I can get funny about it. If it's already cooked up, especially if it's in a bag, I don't want slimy chicken. I don't want anything weird in my chicken. Um, and sometimes I found that with pre-cooked chicken and I don't find that with this. It's organic, there's nothing funky about it. And the convenience, you guys, is incredible, right? We all know how to grill a chicken breast and cut it up. But this is speaking to a lot of people. We sell a ton of this because you can throw it in a salad, you can throw it with rice, you can throw it whatever dip it in any condiment you want all right this guy guys 21 grams of protein there's only two servings in this bag so 21 grams so guys if you ate the whole bag it's probably the equivalent to like two or three chicken breasts so look at that okay so um this guy you're gonna pay just a little bit for convenience on this item actually how much how much is this before i say that let's actually look at that um, four forty nine. Okay, so four fifty. Yeah, maybe you're paying a little bit for convenience, but you're also getting quality. It's organic, it's grilled, and it's ready to go for you. Love, love, love this item. All right, guys. Number five. All right. Now, hold on a minute before we get to number five. If you're enjoying this video and you've enjoyed any of the videos that you've seen in the past, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button so I know that I should keep doing this, right? I wanna know that I'm creating some value for you out there. And so today I hope we're hitting it home with the convenience and the protein and the low sugar. All right, so number five. Number five is hemp seed. You may already know about this, guys. I had one of my, uh, uh, I love her. She's one of my friends at the store and she's vegan. And I love to pick her, vein, her brain for high protein items because, um, you know, you don't always want to eat a piece of meat. I mean, I don't anyways. I don't always want to get my protein from meat. And so this, this is high on the list. This is number five. I'm going to tell you why. It's the organic shelled hemp seed. Uh, throw it in salads, throw it in yogurt, and throw it in my number one thing to throw it in is overnight oats for a complete meal, protein, carb, low sugar. I'm gonna do a video on that too, guys. Love this item. I absolutely love it uh, because you can sprinkle it over salads. So in three tablespoons, three tablespoons, guys, you're getting 10 grams of protein. This is amazing. It was like uh, the heavens opened up when she told me about this product. Um, and maybe you already know about it, but I just know there's many benefits to these um, seeds, a lot of different seeds. Uh, I know uh, the oats that I do my overnight oats with has chia seed, flax seed, and some hemp seed. But for extra protein, I love to use hemp seed. And I'm gonna show you what else I do with this when we get a little closer to my number one item. All right, so hemp seed found in the cereal aisle. All right, guys, number uh, number four. Now, number four is probably not much of a surprise to you. If you know anything about Greek yogurt, you know that one of the benefits of Greek yogurt is the protein, right? But uh, a little thing about me is I've tried all kinds of Greek yogurt, and Greek yogurt tends to be a little bit on the sour tart side for me. But anytime I would go to look for a flavored, you know, a uh, cherry, a lemon, a raspberry, anything with any kind of flavoring, I looked at the sugar. Sugar in yogurts is insane. It is insane. I'm not saying every yogurt, every brand. Of course, I'm not saying that. But a lot of them, guys, this one, actually from Trader Joe's, it's in a cute little six pack. Yeah, this one, 
Four ounces, look how tiny that is. You know how much, can you guess? That's right, someone said 16 grams of protein. 16 grams of protein in this little tiny, tiny cup. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't eat that. The boyfriend every now and then packs it for his lunch. And I'm switching him over to my new ID and I can't wait to show you this. So back to this, the Greek yogurt. We have whole fat, low fat, no fat, 1%, you know, that whole thing. It's plain, okay? I went with the non-fat one. I looked at all of them. Um, this one has um, five grams of sugar. For a yogurt product, it's extremely, extremely fantastic. Five grams of sugar. Now you're ready for this. The protein though, which I've always known, 17 grams. So in three fourths of a cup, so you're getting a nice size cup, 17 grams of protein. Phenomenal, phenomenal. But I could never get past eating a plain. So I have a product here and I'm gonna show you. Hold on, I'm getting a spoon. I get so excited about this, you guys, that I have got to show you this. A customer told me about this and I'm so happy that she did. You take your non-fat yogurt or any of the Greek yogurts, it's gotta be unflavored, okay? I'm gonna take the lid off. This didn't make my top 10 list, but it's, I gotta sneak this product in because it's changed my life with the whole yogurt thing. It's a vanilla bean paste, guys, a bourbon vanilla bean paste. There is, let's see, how many grams of sugar in this guy? Three grams of sugar in a teaspoon, three grams, okay? Number one, it's an amazing product. It's like, you see the, the vanilla bean and everything. I mean, it's like legit. A lot of customers tell me that they use it for baking. So I'm gonna take my kind of soury, kind of where I get a little finicky with this guy. And now I'm gonna sweeten it up, guys, with a tablespoon. Tablespoon of this, right? My three grams, look at that. It's going right in my container. I'm stirring it up, okay? Now I have vanilla bean yogurt without all the dang sugar. Mmm, I'm so excited about this. That's why it made my number four because I feel like I haven't been eating yogurt because I, I don't want to eat it because of the sugar. And I just couldn't get away around the, 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 um, the Greek yogurt taste. Now for extra pro protein, remember number five, throw three tablespoons of that and now I got even more protein in there. See where I'm going with this? All right, so number four is the uh, Greek yogurt and then this I kind of sneak in because it's the way I can really eat it. All right, guys, number three might be a little sneaker, a little fooler for you. Um, and I can't say that I've ever bought this item. I'm gonna try it. Um, it was a fooler. I walked over to the tuna section and I known about this item, but it made my list because A, every now and then I love a good tuna salad. We all know that uh, tuna is a great source of protein, right? It's no sugar, it's high protein. This made the list for multiple reasons. Number one, look at the convenience of this, guys. If you just, I don't know, you're in the airport and you don't wanna eat fast food or, you know, just whatever. I don't know, you're in your car instead of going through a drive-thru, you literally take a fork and this guy, and now you've got, you ready for this? It's the Wild Skip Jack Tuna. So it's wild, caught, it's in a convenient travel pouch. You guys, are you ready? 22 grams of protein, 22, you guys, 22. Now, I wanna read you something special about this um, because I know there's a lot that surrounds um, how we catch our fish. And I, I'm not gonna, that's a topic for another day. So I'm just gonna stick, stick to the basics. I'm gonna read the back of it because you can feel really good eating this too in terms of um, how they catch this tuna. This wild skipjack tuna is sustainably caught without the use of FADs or fish aggregating devices to minimize bycatch. Uh, do your research on that if you wanna learn about that. Each tuna is tested for mercury and only those fish meeting specific criteria, criteria are chosen for this product. Each premium tuna steak is hand caught, hand packed, and slow cooked to perfection. Then it's got a little asterisk and it says every tuna is mercury tested. Um, okay, 
So anyways, that's my little blurb on this. I thought, you know what, this is such a cool item and I cannot wait to, uh, to try it actually. You know what, let's just try it now, guys. Let me just try the tuna. Hold on. Let's try the tuna. Um, and mind you, this is without any mayo or celery, onion, lettuce, no seasonings. Oh, I don't even need scissors because it's got this handy dandy little thing. Okay. Now, I mean, I like tuna. I don't know why I wouldn't like this tuna. It's literally tuna out of a pouch. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's tuna. It is tuna. And my gosh, you guys, if you ate this whole pouch, 22 grams, are we kidding? Fantastic. All right, well, love it. All right, that made number three, you guys. Um, gets high on the list because of convenience, travel item, and just the whole quality of the tuna. So, um, oh, and the best part, this was $1.79. $1.79 for 22 grams of protein. Wow. All right, guys, number two. My number two item is the organic red lentil pasta. All right, this made the list for multiple reasons. Number one, I love pasta. I love pasta. I'm Italian and we love our pasta. Have you ever tried gluten-free pasta, uh, quote, labeled protein pasta, um, just wheat pasta, like whatever? Um, sometimes they're funky. I don't know how else to say it. They're funky or I don't really get that like pasta fix that I'm looking for. It's like I'm trying to be healthy, but it's kind of off. Guys, this red lentil pasta is very, very good. It's very good. I've made this multiple times. I really love this pasta. So when I feel like I want to have a nice bowl of pasta and I want to add some protein, so I have some carbs, some protein, maybe throw a handful of veggies in there with a low sugar pasta sauce. Um, this is amazing. You ready for this one, guys? 15 grams. 15 grams of pasta in three fourths of a cup. So almost a cup of pasta for um, how many grams did I say again? Oh yeah, 15, 15 grams of pasta. The sugar is less than one gram. Okay, um, so guys, if you are trying to cut out some sugar and you still wanna enjoy some pasta, organic red lentil pasta, give it a shot. It's high up there for number two because I love my pasta. Um, but I do try to, you know, whatever. I try to be a little conscious when I'm eating the pasta. All right, guys, a drum roll, please. My number one protein packed um, favorite item at Trader Joe's. And actually, I have two. So I kind of have a tie here, okay? Um, but the number one favorite item is the frozen egg frittata. The frozen egg frittata. And I'm gonna tell you why it ranks my number one. I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, it's $3.49, okay? I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna show you. So we're talking protein and sugar, right guys? All right, so let's talk about that first. 25 grams of protein, 25, 25. 25 grams of protein in that, three grams of sugar, okay? That is like phenomenal. For a breakfast, if you are eating a muffin, if you are eating a donut, if you are eating a sugary yogurt, or if you are making a smoothie with a bunch of sugary, sugary things in it, um, if you're going through a drive-thru, I mean, right, fill in the blank. Three grams of sugar is nothing. You microwave these for three minutes. Three minutes, I love them. They're very tasty. Um, they're convenient, they're tasty, they're economical. I no longer have to go through the fancy coffee shop and go get some like egg white sous vide thing. Um, and here's what I love about these, which is why they're my number one. One of the reasons is because I've eaten them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, guys. Like I just have, they're that easy. They're in my freezer. I get a 30 minute lunch at the store. And so I buy them, I microwave them, I eat them. Sometimes I'll slice up an avocado. I'll put some hot sauce. You could put salsa. 
Guys, you could do this however you want. They are very, very filling, two minutes in the microwave. If your kids like eggs or they're open to quiche type things, this is outstanding. That's why this is my number one, guys. It's my number one because I it's a go-to. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, microwavable, affordable, um, and uh, clean ingredients. So, so actually, what is in here? I'm gonna spend a little extra time because it's my favorite. So egg whites, it's an egg white omelet, bunch of different cheeses, cauliflower, Swiss cheese, whey protein, water, chive, uh, and a few other things. Contains milk and eggs, FYI. But, um, I, so I just love it, guys. I love, love, love. I know it's number one item. It might not seem too exciting to you, but this has gotten me through many, many pinches. Now, the reason why I said I had a tie I have to sneak one more in, guys. So it's either a tie for first or it's my top 11. I'm not sure. Um, and it's not a Trader Joe item. But I'm going to shout this company out anyways because uh, all that I've read about this company, A, I love the product. Uh, B, I love the mission. And C, I, um, I just, it's gotten me three, through so many like in-between snack times. I'm sure you guys have seen these. These are the chopsticks, okay? I know Trader Joe's is not the only place that sells them. I do believe we have the best price. Don't quote me, I'm not sure. We only have three flavors. Um, I do not recommend the turkey one. For me personally, it's in a yellow wrapper and I, it was so dry, I couldn't choke it down, okay? So, but whatever, you might love it, I don't. So I do the jalapeno, it's not spicy at all, and I do the beef. All right, so the chopsticks. Let's talk about this guy for a minute here because it tied with number one, remember? It's grass-fed, it's grass-finished. It's nine grams of protein. It's 90 calories. It's zero sugar, guys. Um, and so I love this because it's just, you talk about quick, this tops the chart with all of these products. You literally peel it out, right? Peel it off and eat it. There's nothing weird about it. You don't get that goofy film on the top of your mouth like you do if you got like those um old sticks we used to eat as kids from the gas station. Gross. Mm -mm. Fantastic. It's a great product for me to eat between like breakfast and lunch or lunch or dinner. I keep them in my work bag. You can keep them in your car. Or keep them in your purse. Easy, quick protein. No sugar. Here's what I also love. I love that they have always have a, a, um, a nice little quote on the inside of their packaging. And I didn't know this early on, but it's just like a small touch, I feel like. Today is for speaking up and chomping down. Ha um, hashtag champions. I just love that. And there's a different one in each package. I don't know. Um, I think the company's out of Naples, Florida. I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure about, I just heard really great things about the company. So it's not a Trader Joe product, but I love the product. And it totally fits the bill of a high protein, low sugar for a very quick, convenient snack. Anyways, guys, I hope that you can enjoy some of these, all of these, a few of these. Um, make a list. Uh, if you're looking for um, snacks, meals, Quick things, breakfast things, dinner things. We kind of covered all bases here. Meat, non-meat. Um, so uh, I, I hope that I've helped you out with that. And guys, I'll see you back in my kitchen.